for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Snip of the matches as always. Got another update video for you guys, and this might be the last one of Madden 23. Even though we just played the Super Bowl, and typically updates, title updates, I'm specifically talking about, typically happen for several months after the uh, after the Super Bowl is played. Typically, almost into the summer uh, before they turn before the developers turn their attention uh, to the following game. Uh, once I read the article, I'm going to read you guys today. You're going to understand that there might not be any. Um, updates. It sounds like there's not going to be any more updates, no more title updates, and definitely no more player updates until next year. I'm going to go over the player rings updates as well that came out uh, about a day or so ago um, from the Super Bowl. Uh, but there has actually was a lot of updates for players that weren't involved in the Super Bowl as well. But before I do that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, if you guys want me to continue this type of content, these update video content uh, related videos, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Um, the, uh, the article that I'm reading is from Insider Gaming. And essentially what it says here is that developers and EA management know that Madden 24 is a make or break uh, game. It's a make or break release for the franchise. And this is based off of the fact that they've been having so many problems this year, whether it's with MUD or more specifically with franchise mode, which has been an issue for several Maddens now. Uh, but basically they, they know that uh, they've messed up so bad based off the fact that I'm sure that you know the amount of players... Uh, have gone down drastically because of how bad they they messed up the franchise mode with the cloud server issue and how much they you know how much all the corrupted data and all the mistakes that they made uh, it really cost a lot of people their leagues so badly so that they actually had to send out discount coupons to a lot of players uh, which I, I don't know if you guys heard this but that was probably like a month or so ago where they're issuing 50% uh, off Madden 24 releases to a lot of players that lost their connected franchises as well as um, a lot of these same players are getting uh, open beta um, you know opportunities to play the open beta early so they're doing their best to try to make up for it but a lot of people, I mean, for some people, that's a little too too little too late because this has been an issue for years when it comes to franchise. Fr franchise has been the forgotten mode for so long, and it's now coming back to haunt EA. Uh, but ultimately, um, you know, they're basically saying in this article that the people that work, uh, the management team when it comes to um, to this game, their jobs are on the line, basically. If they don't get it right in Madden 24, that they could basically uh, reshuffle the positions uh, as far as the game's leadership, which, um, you know, doesn't necessarily mean they're going to fire people. I would, I'm not really sure how that, what that means, but for people that really want, like, massive changes to, uh, to Madden, this might be a step in the right direction because if you're going to completely uh, restructure the, the team that's running the game, that's failing to run the game, it's got to give you hope that they're gonna that they're gonna you know take it serious and if they're gonna change management maybe they bring in somebody from outside that's a little bit better at developing games because I know that you know EA and, and Madden the gameplay has to me gotten better this, the, you know the gameplay this year is really fun but as far as the game modes themselves they're either stagnant and stale like mutt where it's like the same promos and there's really nothing new or different or exciting like this year the big difference there's a reason i mean i, I played mud every year on this channel this year i really did because it's just like the same thing over and over the only real changes this year for me when it came to mud i mean they had the field pass which didn't even really work properly uh for most players i i stopped around the second season because i was still like a level one and it wouldn't update at all so i wasn't getting any reward progress so i just basically was like you know i'm not gonna just buy a whole team when i can't even get some free players to to basically supplement my team that's the lesser of the two evils i mean when it comes to franchise mode franchise mode from what i hear and i haven't played franchise mode in a while that used to be my my favorite game mode when i started this channel several years ago but um yeah i mean that's franchise mode has really gotten bad to the point where it's almost unplayable for a lot of people if you're playing online anyway i'm sure offline's you know fine but at the end of the day that needs to be reworked and refreshed in a lot of different ways too because a lot of that stuff's the same um, you know, but that's that's you know it, that's what happens when you put out a game every year. You can really only make tweaks, and I feel like in general it needs like an overhaul. Um, you know, both modes really need an overhaul and need to be freshened up. And they they sound if you read the article a little more, they sound uh, like they think that franchise mode is almost there. Uh, I find a quote here somewhere. It says, "Sources say the developers feel the mode is almost there with smaller additions, aside from." the larger fixes to the database issues and i think franchise players might disagree but let me know in the comment section what you guys think because 
for a while now they have been trying to add things to like the scouting and um you know uh, i don't think that you can even relocate teams anymore and stuff like that things like that players have been asking for so let me know in the comment section what you guys think as far as uh the state of franchise mode aside from the obvious problems that they're having but as far as like playing the mode are you guys happy with all the features that you have or are there features that you wish that were there i know i don't i don't know i know back in the day people really liked the owner mode i don't even think that's in the game anymore like i said i don't play a lot i haven't played franchise mode in a couple years because it just has gotten so poor uh to the point where i don't feel the need to play it although i do plan on possibly doing some content on franchise mode here uh in the off season so stick around for that if you guys are interested in that but other than that, that's pretty much all that I have on that topic. And I'm going to go ahead and get into the player ratings update, which there's some interesting ones, especially starting at the top. Um, there really wasn't like a high overall. Typically when the ratings uh, changes come out, like the hot, so there's always like a, a high 90 overall player that changes. There really wasn't uh, in this one. And I really think that that's kind of surprising because Patrick Mahomes winning uh, MVP and becoming like the, what, only the third quarterback to do that, I think it's like Joe Montana, Tom Brady, I'm not really sure, but the, as far as quarterbacks that have two Super Bowl, two Super Bowl MVPs and two regular season MVPs, he's the youngest guy to do that. And he did get a ratings update, specifically uh, mostly geared towards toughness. He got a plus two, and he's up to a 99 toughness, which once again, how can you argue that? You would think that he would um, be a 99. After that accomplishment, being in that short of a list, I, I'm surprised that he didn't get bumped up to a 99. I'll be even more surprised if he's not a 99 at the start of next season. But I definitely think he deserves it, and I'm an Eagles fan saying that. I love Patrick Mahomes. He's a great player. He's probably my favorite non-Eagles player to watch. Although I don't think he was the best player in that game, and I'll get to that a little bit later. If you follow this series all year, you know that my biggest complaint all year, and I've pretty much been pioneering for this, is to get Jalen Hurts the rating that he deserves. Uh, he's going to be the next player that I talk about. But there is one player ahead of him. Actually, I think two players ahead of him, both quarterbacks that even though they're sitting at home, got a ratings decrease, uh, one of which is Dak Prescott, who his only real action lately was accepting the uh, the trophy for uh, Walter, Payton, Walter Payton Man of the Year. He got a negative one, um, which is always strange every time somebody gets a negative uh, when they're not actually playing. I think Aaron Rodgers also got a negative one to bring them both down on A7. And then Jalen Hurts got a plus one to bring him up to an 87. But I just want to go over the hypocrisy of this for a moment. Jalen Hurts had an historic game in the Super Bowl, a four touchdown game, over 300 yards passing, almost 400 yards of total offense by himself when you include rushing in the on, on the biggest stage in the world. Dak Prescott last got a plus three for throwing for the, pretty much thrown for the same amount of yards and I think four touchdowns against a eight and ten Bucks team in the wild card round. He got a plus three for that, and Jalen Hurts only gets a plus one for a historic Super Bowl performance where he was clearly the best player in the field. Statistics wise, he was clearly the best player on the field. Even Travis Kelsey came out and said after the fact that he could have been MVP and a loss. I think that at the very least that should have been a plus two. But you can see how EA dropping guys like Dak Prescott, and I think, like I said, I don't see it now, but I think he dropped, they dropped uh, Aaron Rodgers as well. I think that's all meant to basically move Hurts up the board and put him more towards the top 10, top five, wherever he is rated now as far as quarterbacks because for my money you can't I can't take anything like he's at least a top five quarterback Mahomes Allen Burrow Hurts that's probably where I would have it maybe Herbert in there uh, in the top five that's the the, the new the new school leaders uh, the, the young cats coming up those are the five guys to me there's nobody else one interesting name is Patrick Peterson somehow got a plus one guy hasn't played since uh, the wild card round but he's got a plus one up to an 85 um, you know I, I can't really understand why guys would change ratings uh, sit at home on their couch. It's kind of weird. Uh, James Bradbury got a negative one. Guy had an All-Pro season. I know he made a he had a, a holding call in the last play. Um, I you know watching that game. There's plenty of times where he he was holding Juju the same way throughout the game. There was one on a third and eight that I was watching in the video. It looked like the exact same thing, if not worse. Um, I don't understand why he would get a, a negative one. For that for for a holding penalty in the super bowl i mean that seems like an overreaction like i said the guy was an all pro landon dickerson pro bowl guard for the eagles also a plus two he's up to an 82 now uh for my opinion he's one of the best guards in the league uh rob haverstein havenstein i'm not really sure how to say his name but he went down a point he's down to an 82 uh and there really aren't a lot more that i'm gonna keep going on and i'm gonna go to about 80 
Brandon Graham got a negative one. I mean, he didn't get a sack in the Super Bowl, but he had his best year ever. And I'm sure that he's been rated higher than 81 in the past. Uh, so a lot of Eagles players getting a, getting the Super Bowl drop based on the fact that they lost, I guess. But that's understandable. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.